That's clean. Let's uh, seal it up. A shitload of glue. Quick tip, if your glue's dripping, spray with the catalyst. Stops it instantly. Just pick it off with a knife after. Pay attention, Brian. Please, pay attention. We're gonna teach you how to mount a uh, post for a deck railing, okay? It's really simple. So we have an eight foot four by four. Come here. We're not gonna waste time either, okay? So we're gonna rough it out at four feet. The railing is only gonna be 36, so really we don't have to waste time on stupid shit. Uh, right? Come on. Take a piece of railing. Okay. Pay attention, Brian. Today I'm going to show you how to not screw down through the face of your boards. Okay, so when I'm building things like uh, cedar decks, I don't like putting screws right through the face of the decking because I don't like the look of it. I think it ruins the aesthetic. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Camo Marksman Pro Tool and the Camo screws for side mounting. Now, uh, it's pretty simple. As you see here, there's little spacers, right? You run it along with the joist. You use those spacers to keep consistent. You put a screw in each end of the hole, one there, one here. Then you take your drill, it comes with a specialized bit. That's perfect depth for this. And that's it. You do that all throughout on every joist and uh, you got yourself a good looking deck. We need to make sure we warm up the hole before we stick it in. We want to avoid any tearing, chipping, or damage that could happen if the temperature isn't right. So we just warm up the cap just a little bit to make sure it's soft enough that it's forgiving. Because if it's rigid, it could chip, and uh, once the damage is done, it's done permanently. Stick our wire in there. And this seems like elementary school stuff, but really, I've seen people mess it up, I'll tell you. Okay. And you get the satisfaction of peeling your sticker off, but because this is on the floor, we're going to wait till we're actually done before we peel our stickers off. And I'm going to make sure I do it, no one else. I'm sorry, my friend, but it is pressure-treated plywood. I know you fancy yourself an expert, but I assure you, you are not. Come check this out. Let's see, let's pull the tag off. Okay, this wood has been treated with a registered wood preservative, MicroPro, Micronized Copper Azole, Azole, just like you. You should know. Thanks. So we actually just need pressure to steer this board. So what a lot of people don't realize is you can turn this into a pushing or an opening clamp instead by taking that off, flipping it around, and then you come in here. And then, ooh, yeah. Pay attention, Brian. I have a trick to show you. Here's how I calculate the angle for my stairs. Take a piece of wood that's long enough to go from nosing to nosing, total run. Set it down, nosing to nosing, top nosing, bottom nosing. Take your speed square, okay? Put your pivot right at the bottom, set it along your straight edge. Read what that is, 32 degrees. Write that down somewhere. That is actually the aim for standard, but 32 degrees. Write that down, set your miter slot at 32 degrees. And every single cut you make going from here to this to even your balusters will be exactly the same. 32 degrees and the rest is simple. Pay attention, Brian. Today we're going to do a little measuring tape talk. So check this out. Um, so this looks alarming that this moves, right? So how do we know we're getting our measurement accurate? You can see this one starts just, just before the uh, quarter inch mark. So. What the toggle here is, is the, the gap here is the thickness of this. So when this is tight, from here to here is exactly two inches. And when this is loose, like you're dragging it against something, from the face of this to here is exactly two inches. And that's why that moves so you can keep accurate measurements. So if you're measuring against something, it's accurate. And if you're measuring pulling off something, it's also accurate that way. Hope that helps.